What's up, y'all? This your boy, Jay Ross for Jay Ross TV, the podcast, y'all, down in the basement, St. Louis, Missouri. Got Miguel on the side, y'all. What's F-dub up? in the house. What's up? Hey, y'all, we got some conversation going on tonight, y'all. We're going to be talking about marriage, man. Man. Hey, these young folks talking about getting married, they don't know what they got in store for them, boy. Not at all. Not at you all. Know? So, uh... When we come back from commercial break, because we got to sell some stuff, y'all know how to stay on the air. We're going to talk about the real things of marriage, about going to counseling, about when your wife get on your nerves, And dog. when your husband gets on your hey, nerves. Hey, hey, and hey, hey, it is what it is. And whose job is it to do what? Hey, you ain't lying, boy, because you can get your toes stepped on down here in the basement, boy. But it's all good in the hood, y'all. It's on and popping. Once again, in St. Louis Broadcasting Live, y'all, this your boy, Jay Ross, podcast. Here go to commercial. We'll be back in a minute, y'all. Peace. Now at Car Credit City, it's your tax refund or $500 down or trade in your clunker sales event. Your signature plus your tax refund or $500 down or your clunker puts you in your choice of any quality vehicle today. Bring your tax refund or $500 cash or your broken down clunker and get the car you need and the credit others won't give you. But hurry, this event won't last forever. Car Credit City, where you're guaranteed a car and guaranteed credit the same day. 88, 88, GZ City. What's up, y'all? This is your boy, Jay Ross back on the hunt y'all okay y'all sitting down here with the with the wifey y'all francis ross and we're gonna talk to y'all young folks on this podcast about marriage man now we've been married 12 years y'all and uh man i love my wife but boy sometime man i wish i had a brick man <laughs> you know? the feeling is very much mutual hey, but hey <laughs> it's all good y'all y'all know how i roll down here in the basement man because it's like you know Man, every time you're sitting down doing something, trying to chill, they just get on your last nerve. Ain't that the truth? You know? Friend is. You know, friend is. Mom hey, is. Hey, mom well, that, hey, that's your job. Oh. Everybody got oh, their so own. everybody in, got a job. That's right. Everybody got their own indistinguishable job around and, uh, here. And you it, know? such as what? Hey, woman's supposed to cook. Man, <laughs> man, kill it. You know? A woman do her thing, you know. I ain't trying to say I'm a male chauvinist or nothing, but I'm just, I'm old fashioned, old school, and that's just how we roll, though. Oh wow! You know, but hey, wait a minute, what you got to say about it then? Hey, from hey. The, from a female perspective, I, I just feel like you know I don't have no problem with cooking, but to, sometimes if you're hungry, it seems like you should be able to go in there and fix you something to eat. Well, that's hey, all hey, I'm saying. You, hey, what you doing around for then? Hey, that's your hey. job. But I'm not the one hungry. No, that's all right. You know, but hey, that's just some of the problems you run into, man. When you get married, you got to get that stuff worked out. That's why we advise everybody to go to counseling, counseling. counseling. We took two counseling sessions, one at her church and one at my church before we came together at a at a, a unified church that we both agree on. But man, when y'all go to counseling, y'all youngsters, boy, tell uh, everything, the truth, everything. The truth on Do not everything. Not sugarcoat anything, you know, or talk around anything, or leave out anything. She telling you right. You know, they gonna ask you about money, sex, uh, 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 humility, everything. Because I mean, they was like, "Hey man, uh, uh, would you be upset if your wife made more than you?" I'm like, "Hell yeah!" You know, that's just how I roll, man. I'm old school, man. I just believe, you know, growing up, a man go out and do what a man do, you know. And uh, I would be feel a little funny if my wife made more than me. But he'd be a happy cat. I don't know, Dan. You know, I mean, I can ride around in a Lamborghini and all that and still be mad. You know, <laughs> sure. But on the other side of it, too, man, it's actually about sex, man. Boy, and, you know, most people go in and lie. No, Your Honor. No, preacher. No, Reverend. We ain't doing nothing. Quit don't, lying. Don't just lie. tell the truth, man. Don't lie. You know, but just handle your business, man. But I just recommend the counseling. And then the one thing about marriage, I'm going to have to tell y'all, it's like being on a dance floor when you first get married. Everybody got to know where their positions are on the floor. You know, you got to know where to put your feet. You got to know where not to put your feet. You know, and then for y'all uh, 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 weak back men, you know, let your woman run everything, that's that's on y'all. I just don't believe in that. I believe in the woman having her say so and all that, but I just believe a man's supposed to run it because that's what the Bible say. Now, if y'all women get out there getting mad, your lips puckering up, you know, talk to God. You know, she got quiet as a church mouse up in her yellow. I, I just think it's rude to interrupt, so I'm just letting well, you have say, your say. Say your say. Right, no, go ahead and finish. No, I said what I had to say. I'm just one to reach for my pistol just in case. No, because you know. see, I'm reaching for mine, too. Oh, so, hey, you hey, know, just, I did go get my license. So, hey. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. She got a concealed hey. carry, y'all. 
So we hey, we walk past each other in the living room, one eye open, one eye closed, boy. Hand in the pocket, hand in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's all good. We just chilling mm-hmm. down in the basement in St. Q- St. Louis, y'all. We broadcasting podcast, www.jrosstv.com. Y'all, hope y'all are enjoying this and uh, just getting a little bit more in-depth, a little bit more serious about this marriage thing, yo. Because I, I mentor a lot of young folks and we talk about, you know, young folks, I'm going to say in eight, between the ages of 18 to 20 want to be married and all that. They see all the too folks young. on TV. Too young. It is too young. And, uh, you know, they think it's like it is on Degrassi or uh, uh, some of these old shows where everything get worked out, boy. And uh, cause when totally I be, opposite. I be talking to these cats, man, like we sit around, I be telling these fellas, man, hey, hey, J. Ross, man, they be, uh, man, your wife get on your nerves. I be, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I be lying, if I, and I know I get on her. And we be lying mm-hmm. if we say we didn't. So, right. Hey, so, why got, lie? Why lie? If you got something, and I'm going to tell you, sit uh, this right here, too, y'all, at them counselings or. I don't know if you're going to be living with each other before you get married and all that. But, you know, God speak against that. But I can't uh, be a hypocrite because we lived together before we got married. Yep. But the thing is, though, question everything. Mm-hmm. You know, question everything. So when you do get married, you don't be like all the way surprised because things going to change anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and one of the biggest uh, issues you're going to have is money. Oh, yeah. That's you, what. Credit. You oh, yeah. Get the credit check. Ladies, ladies, get the credit checks done. Men, get the credit checks done. Well, hell, everybody credit hey. bad. Hey. Obama the mess. Oh, I should have said that. Obama, hey, man. Hey, hey, watch it now. Get, all, get off my president. Get all the black folk mad at me, but hey, hey. I'm going to back that one up. Y'all erase. Beep. That's gone. Uh, but now she's telling you right. Hey. It's, you, it's, it's, and it's not it's not about a, a controlling thing over the money. You got to be on the same accord. You all got to talk about it. You got to talk about Who's going to do what? Who's going to handle the bills? Who's going to distribute it? Who's going to? How is it going to be done? Make sure you put that out there up front. Don't. It's, it's no more my money. It's our money, and it's got to go into the house. You got to <coughs> handle your business first. <coughs> you got some in your throat, honey. <coughs> some in your throat. You got to hand. Hey, you got to handle your business first. Handle your business first and play later. That's my take on it. Go. I always believe in that. That's the way I was raised. Always take care of your business. I used to have people say, oh, you can get this and that for Christmas, and then you can pay it, pay that bill off when your income tax comes. No, because even when the income tax check comes, you got stuff to do with that, too. So don't don't play first. You got to pay first, then play. That's my take on it. Well, she's telling y'all right, and the fellas, all I got to do is say follow this little hint right here. Don't nobody love me but my mama. And she could be lying, and too. And she could be lying, too. But no, she's telling you right, Joe. I, you know what? I thank God for my wife. Been married 12 years, like I said. And uh, first three years, man, you know, when you get married, everything's still new. Right after that, man, I hit her with a brick, man. But once you get through that the hit with the brick or figure out ways you can stab her and not go to jail, once you get past that, man, it's like it's like free selling the rest of the way, man. You just got to do what a man do. You know, he's really painting the picture that I'm a really mean person. No, a that's not. Nah, nah. He just want to kill me off, doesn't he? No, that ain't what I'm saying at all. And the life insurance policy paid up. I'm telling you, because I'm going to need that little chain, you know. <laughs> Get to hit that well, all I got to say is I'm the nicest person I know, so I don't know why he nah, want to kill me off. She telling you right. She telling you right now. I got a good wife. God has really blessed me, but it ain't like I ain't thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> and fellas y'all know what i'm saying you know we don't mean no harm but it's just sometimes it's just the way it is man but other than that though just be honest with the with the uh with the counselor or the pastor or, uh the lawyer you know and uh and and, and and here's the thing if there's any chance if you do get married and if there's any inkling that you think you want to cheat Lead a person. Don't go cheating on them. Leave them. Oh, I don't believe that. Leave them first, or at least get you some help and find out what the problem is to make you want to try to go to somebody else. But when you take that vow, you make a vow before God, and and you need to honor that vow and don't go looking outside your house for anything or anybody else because the person that you made that vow to should be able to handle all your needs in every way possible. Uh oh. Hey y'all, with that we gonna bounce y'all because uh. Uh, it's about to get a little hot up in here. What's what's some uh, what change? Call my call, call my boy, uh, bro. What's his name? Nelly. Come get down here and sing. Uh, it's getting hot in here. But yeah, y'all. We ain't got no pole though. I'm t- well, oh, man, hey, I'm tell y'all something too, man. Uh, she just hit it on the head. Make sure you get your stripper pole for your bedroom, dog. 
I mean, I, I done put on a little weight and all that. I hit that pole. I'm like, knock some plastic out of the ceiling. You know, cause they, my, my, my stripper name is Gravity. So what go up got to come down. But once again, <laughs> this, this your boy Jay Ross in St. Louis broadcasting live from the basement for J. Ross TV with www.jrosstv.com podcast. Man, go to the website, y'all, and, and fill out the Check form. it out. Check yeah, it out. The website off the chain, man. And just, you know, fill it out, man. Help me out. And uh, we going to just roll on up out of here, y'all. J. Ross, 10 big and strong. We gone, along with the wifey. Peace. I was supposed to say, 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 say bye, Gracie. I was supposed to say bye, Gracie. Oh, bye, Gracie. All right, y'all. We out. Peace. Peace. Love you. And I think you're the Egg McMuffin of boyfriends. It's the Egg McMuffin of automobiles. I'll take it. You told me it was the Egg McMuffin of apartments. The Egg McMuffin. The Egg McMuffin of all beach days. Experts are calling it the Egg McMuffin of... Science projects. The simple joy of the one and only. With fresh cracked egg and extra lean Canadian bacon, it's just one of the wholesome ways to start your day at 300 calories or less. He called you the Egg McMuffin of what? 